Torah TV. The world is thinking. But in fact, there are genes, there is a gene for crime, which calls nearly all crime, um, and is widely used, and we understand a great deal about it. It's a behavioral gene. It produces a particular um, chemical, which we understand in detail. Here's the chemical, uh, testosterone. Okay? <coughs> and testosterone, we all have it, but some of us have rather more than others. Testosterone is, of course, the gene that's made uh, on the, the switched on but on the Y chromosome and makes males male. Women have a small amount, but only a small amount, but as, the, as they get older, it begins to show that its effects from their other female hormones uh, lose their activity, and that's why elderly ladies sometimes grow a moustache, but that's another story. Now, testosterone is a dangerous, dangerous thing to have, okay? Uh, I don't recommend it. You, those of you who have it, don't have it, don't, don't get it, and if you've got some, don't get any more. Now, there are some people who do take more. This is... Um, Steve Jones. Um, <laughs> this is not me, although it really is Steve Jones who's a bodybuilding champion. I don't know that this character does it, but certainly plenty of bodybuilders inject steroids, testosterone, into themselves. And they damage themselves severely. Their life expectancy goes down strikingly, and they die for all those male reasons. They die from violence, they die from suicide, they die from car accidents, they die from heart disease, all the things which hit males. But that's over-egging the testosterone cake, maybe. Uh, but even if you look at males versus females in general, it's kind of a depressing picture for half of the room. I'm not sure, sure which half. Uh, you can see the causes of mortality for men in blue and women in red, uh, going up with age, of course. Um, and as you can see, men are ahead of women throughout their lives, and they die for more kinds of interesting reasons. Men die of accidents at a much higher rate than women do, uh, even at the age of four. Four-year-old boys die at twice, twice the rate of four-year-old girls from accidents. Men, and I can assure you this is true, men are struck by lightning at three times the rate of women. Okay? Now, it might seem rather odd to suggest that there's a gene for being hit by a thunderbolt, but when are you struck by lightning? You're on a golf course with a, thunder, with a lightning conductor in your hand. <laughs> You're done for, and that's okay. Um, men, actually, less, ex less expectedly, perhaps, are much less good at dealing with parasites and infectious disease than women are. And that's because testosterone, the male hormone, suppresses the immune system. And the immune system fights off the parasites, and we don't do nearly as well. And men, of course, are murdered much more than women. And who murders them? Other men. And we can actually see the, the strength of that effect. Here's uh, figures of murder rate by men. Uh, men and women in England and Wales um, in relation to age. Men in red, women in kind of greeny blue. And you can see an absolutely striking effect that men murder at a much higher rate than women, on the average about ten times more. Particularly, of course, when they're trying to show what good husbands they might make at the age of 20 to 25, or maybe trying to get rid of the male opposition. Right? There's a few grumpy old men at the right-hand end there. Um, and that effect is striking. That effect is true worldwide. All over the world, men with testosterone murder at ten times the rate of women. And that's true in England and Wales. Here's a picture from the American city of Detroit. Exactly the same pattern. Maybe even grumpier with old age in Detroit than in, um, than in England and Wales. So it's a universal, and it's a biological universal. It's clearly due to testosterone. There's no question of that. Now, the evidence is absolutely clear. So it's a genetic phenomenon. It's a gene for crime. But hang on a minute. Let's look at the environment. If we go to the murder rate in, um, in Detroit, the number of murders per million per year is it goes up to about 1,000. The numbers of murders per million per year in the United Kingdom goes up to 25. So there's a 40 times difference in rate, which is due to the environment, to guns, to gangs, to drugs, to poverty, to intolerance, and all that kind of stuff. And we can change that, those things, and actually in Detroit, they have succeeded in changing them to some degree. So here we have a classic nature-nurture question. Nature, nurture, or neither. In fact, the answer is always both. Certainly genetic, it's also environmental. And you can't disentangle them. You can change part of it, the environment, you can't change the other part, the genes. And I always find it very odd that um, the public are so interested in the bit you can't change, the genes, and are so uninterested in the bit that you can. So I think the, the take-home lesson is that you know, nature and nurture and everything else in science is much more complicated than you think. But to put it in, a, in more, perhaps slightly more of a nutshell, science, genetics, will tell you everything you need to know about yourself, 
apart from the interesting stuff.